Richardson is a member of the Economic Development Authority. <laughs> Thank you, Madam Clerk. After these papers are adopted, if you are being appointed or reappointed, please meet the assistant city clerk at the rear of the chamber on my left, and she will direct you from there to the list for the oath of office. Are there persons that wish to speak in favor of any of these papers? Are there persons that wish to speak in opposition? My name is Silver Persinger. I'm a citizen of Richmond, Virginia. I'd like to speak, speak in opposition to item 21 to reappoint Kelvin G. Hansen as a member of the Economic Development Authority. I'd like to refresh the council's memory. On uh, January 25th of this year, you all adopted Ordinance 2009 uh, 217. The vote was six uh, vote yes, one vote no. I believe that was Mr. Tyler. Uh, one person was absent, I believe that was Ms. Trammell, and one person abstained, I believe that was Mr. Uh, Hilbert. And uh, Ordinance 2009 217, uh, the summary for the paper reads To authorize the Chief Administrative Officer, that's Byron Marshall, to execute a development agreement, it was a $600,000 grant uh, not to be repaid by the developers. Uh, one of the developers is Kelvin Hansen, the other developer is Ronald Stallings. So uh, this paper is to authorize an agreement between the, the Chief Administrative Officer, the City of Richmond, and uh, the, the Hippodrome Taylor Mansion LLC, and the Economic Development Authority of the City of Richmond, Virginia, for the purposes of implementing economic development grant for a mixed-use development located at the former Taylor Mansion located at 526 North 2nd Street, and the former Hippodrome Theater, located at 528. Now, what I've just said is that this person you're proposing to put on the Economic Development uh, Committee is the same developer as the Taylor, Taylor Mansion project. Tell me how it's not a conflict of interest to have a member of the Economic Development Authority uh, proposing to, to give a grant for economic development. Further, I'd like to ask that Mrs. Robertson abstain from this vote, as I asked on January 25th. She had received a donation from Ronald Stallings, political contribution, and Mr. Hansen has donated $1,000 to Mrs. Robertson in 2004. Uh, I got this information from ppap.org, and if this doesn't bring serious questions to the city council, you know, what is the point of the citizen comment period? I've been coming here for years, and you know why I stopped coming recently? It was because I was discouraged, because you guys never do anything based on anything that I say. I feel like I'm saying that I'm calling out the shortfalls of the legislation that you're proposing, and it never makes a difference. You know what a democracy is? It's a forum. And this, us citizens, we should have as much influence as you all do in the decisions that are made here. Sad truth is, we don't. And one of the reasons we don't is because citizens aren't involved. So, uh, you know, I just want to again say citizens should be involved. This is a very clear uh, case of a conflict of interest. And uh, I would urge you all to at least continue this paper and review what I've said. Thank you for your opportunity to comment. Thank you, sir. Any other citizen comment? Back to council for discussion. Yeah. Mr. Jewell. I remember the statement in my speaker's uh, comment. Uh, I made the point then, I'll make it again. Uh, the two gentlemen that you mentioned are competitive. They are not partners. And I would, I would hope that, uh, I, I, I believe this person here is right, citizen input is extremely important. Uh, but you all have facts to and uh, I, I challenge anybody to show where this gentleman's name is on that piece of paper or that developer agreement when in fact I know for a fact that they are competitors, not part of it. Thank you, Mr.